Hi, you're watching Smartphone BG video and this is the video review of Google Nexus 5. Nexus branded products already proved themselves not just as valuable smartphones and tablets but also as a symbol of successful collaboration between Google and the global hardware makers. Nexus 5 is a great successor of the previous versions no doubt and in the next few minutes I'm gonna share with you my experience with the device. Its design and build quality are absolutely lovely despite the lack of some luxury materials like glass or aluminium. Nexus 5 is entirely made of plastic. In its previous versions we had some nice and beautiful piece of glass on the back but it was a real fingerprint magnet plus was much more slippery. Nexus 5 offers a plastic back cover with some rubberized finish, making it great in feel. The curved LG and Nexus logos are also part of the elegant design, but the presence of a stamp with some marks like a serial number brings a little disappointment to the overall impression. Apart from that, the speaker on top and the sound speakers on bottom are very elegantly designed. Overall, the device is very compact and fits nicely in your hand and despite having almost 5 inches, 4.95 to be absolutely accurate, it still looks and feels somehow smaller than other 5 inch phones. It is definitely an example of a nice craftsmanship by LG, just as it should be for a Nexus phone. Another important part is the screen. Having great colors and high pixel density is a must for a flagship smartphone nowadays. Nexus 5 uses true HD IPS Plus capacitive screen with resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels and Gorilla Glass protecting the screen. If you compare it to the Galaxy Note 3 or LG G2, you might notice some better contrast and color brightness in favor to its competitors, but I believe it is because of the much more colorful interface of those devices. In terms of interface, Nexus 5 somehow looks much cleaner, more organized and even neat. However, it still gives you great colors and viewing angles and it is exactly what you can expect from an IPS screen. The pixel density is 445 pixels per inch which makes it retina display unless you watch it from a distance less than 20 centimeters, which I assume you are not going to do, therefore the Android 4.4 KitKat is going to look very very beautiful on it. But Nexus 5 is not just a beautiful smartphone, of course it is very powerful as well. Snapdragon 800 and the Adreno 330 30 graphics provide enough performance not just to browse or work on the go but to play some demanding mobile apps as well. It is equipped with 2GB of RAM, no difference with the previous version here. I noticed some heating on the back playing Asphalt or other 3D games that require more graphics power but I think it is normal considering the small size and powerful hardware inside. The storage capacity starts from 16GB and as before an SD card slot is not available. Of course, it won't be fair to skip the new Android 4.4 KitKat that is freshly released with the device. Its interface design is very simple and clean as I already mentioned, offers a few changes in terms of design like the a bit bigger icons or unified fonts and icons in the status bar, however most of the changes consider deeper Google integration. Google Now is just a slide away and Google search is now integrated right into your phone book to keep you much more informed about who is calling and what for. Just say OK Google and the personal assistant will reply properly, offering its help. Well, it is not exactly what you can expect from the iOS, Siri or Samsung Galaxy Assistant, but it is still very useful not just as an accurate search engine, but it can also directly open some popular apps for you. Google Hangouts is now capable of SMS transfer, however, you can still download a third-party app for this purpose, if you'd like this, of course. The backside camera quality has been improved despite being 8 megapixels again, in contrast to the popular 13 nowadays, but this time it has integrated optical stabilization which LG already knows how to produce considering their experience with the LG G2. I personally being an average camera user was really happy with it, especially with the software add-ons and the HDR improvements. The sound quality was more than convenient as well. One of the really few disappointments in our tests came from the battery life. And it's not because the uh, 2300 mAh is a small capacity. It is because the screen and powerful hardware are really demanding in terms of power consumption. It performed poor during our battery tests compared to some of its high class competitors. You can find more about our battery ranking at news.smartphone.bg. Google Nexus 5 is a great Android phone, no doubt. Probably the best one running clean and beautiful Android OS on a fantastic screen with some powerful hardware inside. 
It looks, feels and works just as nice and as fluent as it should be and if you are less critical to its battery life, it might be the perfect choice for you, especially on this price. Thanks for watching. For more videos like that, subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye.